I'm almost at a loss for words. The one thing that I really feel is so poignant about everything that I've heard from every story told, every face that I see, is courage. Storytelling takes courage. Standing up and owning your insecurities, owning, owning your fears, owning your identity takes courage. And it's the courage of those that came before us, the panels on the quilt, mothers, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, partners, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, you name it, that broke the mold would not accept the status quo for what it was and said, we need a new perspective. Jeannie, I thank you for every minute, every step you take, everything that your son gave, and every single person here that has been able to witness the change that has happened from that because change is real. I know that every single person here today is a part of an organization, of a fundraising effort, of an awareness, of an education that has spoken to a very specific community affected and impacted by HIV and AIDS. Without the collaboration and all of our individual effort, so many people would have been left behind. My mother was a second grade school teacher that moved here from New York, and she married Starsky from Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> I mean, come on. Could you have imagined a crazier story? To then right here in West Hollywood at Cedar sinai give birth to my sister, Ariel, she lost seven pints of blood while giving birth and needed a blood transfusion, and that blood was dirty, and she contracted HIV. This is one of many stories that have changed the course of history, because not just individuals like Elizabeth Glazer or Ariel Glazer or Ryan White, but every single one of us that have witnessed the courage and embodied that courage to take every single step in our lives for the love and the compassion of those next to us, to look at each and every person that sits by our side, that crosses our path in our life and show them the love that they owe and they need and that we respect and see in them. We all have challenges. This is a human immunodeficiency virus. Guess what? We all got immune systems. Every single person on this planet is connected to HIV. And as my mom understood, collaboration will set us all free because this has been the greatest opportunity that humanity has ever had to understand our immune system and confront what we have this year with COVID. Courage is what it takes to tell stories. Every single word that comes out of our mouth resonates through all of time. And I get the honor through the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation to travel this planet, continent to continent, and speak with young people who don't have the opportunity to tell their stories. And guess what? Their stories are different than their stories, than my story, than your story and your son's story. Their story is a story of life and light and hope, of rebellion against the stigma that they did not ask for, that was placed upon them. I am 36 years old. I'm turning 37 years old on October 25th. I'm HIV positive. I have an HIV negative girlfriend, and I just left a doctor's office two days ago where I got to talk about having my own children. The power that that gives an individual who feels hopeless in life immediately turns into hopeful for their future. There are very few people around the world that know the reality of HIV today, 
and the opportunity for their future every single day they have to live and through every single opportunity in their life. And I ask all of you to embody this courage that this monument represents. Allow this to be a lightning rod that spawns storytelling into the future, no matter religion, race, no matter your financial capability in this world, whether you are someone of notable stature on this planet, or if you are one of the foot soldiers that is walking this earth, impacting people one by one, because I see with my own eyes the power that humanity can have because of my own existence. I'm here because of you. Without you, this doesn't exist. So we are no longer helpless, we are hopeful. Behavior, simple behavior, can get rid of HIV in our lifetime. We have the science and we have the tools. And the reason we have those is because of every single story told before we arrived here today where this movement will be erected. I love each and every one of you for the effort you put forth, for everything you've done 40 years ago until now. I even get the honor of sitting here with my doctor, Dr. Michael Gottlieb, who cared for my mother and I am fortunate to have you looking after me and the woman I love in my life. I think there are very few of us, and we're looking at each other right now, every one of us here get to leave here today and carry that courage on into every single person we interact with in our lives. I wanna thank every one of you, the city of West Hollywood, and my promise to you is that, at least in my time, I will continue to be radical, and I ask you to be radical with me. Go against the, brain, go against the grain, break the status quo, create a new paradigm in the world that is of life, hope, and positivity, because HIV is not a death sentence anymore. Those stories made it something that we can eradicate in our lifetime, and all of you are gonna do that with us. So I love you and I thank you, and it is just a privilege and an honor to be here next to each and every one of you. Let's end this before all of us leave this beautiful physical experience. Thank you. <laughs>